Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Ohio Stacker here with you. So this week's video, that's right, we're going to have ourselves another mega hunt of half dollars. $2,000 uh, worth of halves or 200 rolls of halves. So I'm going to go ahead and open up these live on camera. So let me get the tripod set up. I'll go ahead and label the boxes one through four. That way you can see that I'm opening up each box live on camera. So uh, bear with me. Let me get the tripod set up. All right, guys. Well, first off, let me go ahead and apologize. I thought I hit record on the camera. Uh, apparently, I did not, but I did cut the first box here. This is number one. So I do apologize. It has been cut. I did not hit record. So um, I will open it up. We'll go over that. Just kind of a peek through and uh, see if we find anything. Now, I'm not going to flip over every roll, top and bottom. I just kind of want to do a, a quick peek here on the top specifically just to make the time uh you know a little bit a little bit better for us here and uh it's a 98 so not seeing anything jumping out for us so hopefully that uh all the fines are on the inside so let's scoot this aside and get into box number two all right let's move this off here Let's get in box number two. Box number two is still sealed. There's not, uh, besides some hair on it, not anything that's cut here on box two. So let's go ahead and slice into box number two. Hopefully this one has some goodies for us. Maybe, a little tight there. All right, there we go, awesome. All right, box number two. Probably gonna have ourselves some NIFCs just based on how shiny that one is. Looks like there's another one here. Or that could be one of those 96s or 98s that we've been getting a bunch of that's uh, been really shiny for us. Uh, just a dirty bicentennial there. All right, uh, not seeing anything jumping out here in box number two put that one back in there so let's go ahead and close this one up get into box number three okay just scoot that back there here's box three now box three is actually damaged when i picked this up at the bank the lady said that it was dropped when she got it out of the cart that she brought it in with but it's still sealed it's it's cracked here on this side but the bottom the bottom itself is still sealed so it's still busted on the sides i'm hoping that when i cut this open that the whole box itself does not fall apart on us okay hopefully Box number three will give us an ender. It's been a while since we've had one, guys. I'd be excited to have one. Man, that box is just all sorts of beat up. Here's a cool toner, if you will. Not seeing anything jumping out. Some 80s, some 72s, some bicentennials. This one. Guys, this roll right here, from where it was dropped is already like cracked open so i'm going to carefully sit that back inside let's check the rolls around it yeah see from it being dropped this roll here is completely split open so when we get to that one guys just kind of keep in mind that um you know from it being dropped it was already opened this one next to it I don't know if you guys can see it, yeah, it's all it's all busted down there. Same thing over here, all busted. That's all right though. We'll put some new wraps on them and uh, and go through them once we're done. All right, so last but certainly not least of the box, let's get into box number four. Here's box number four. It's got number thirty-two written on it. That came from the bank. Still sealed. 
Hope you guys are having good luck on your hunts. If you guys are into coin roll hunting, hope you guys are finding some silver, airs, and varieties, all those neat, fun coins to collect. Uh, it's been a little slow for me. You know, I've been finding some W's when I've been searching the quarters. Uh, silver, though, has been a little dried up lately, so maybe it's all going your way. Hopefully that'd be uh, some, some good news for you guys. All right, this one's gonna be, this is a 72 that's real shiny. Not, uh, not having anything pop out of it, guys. 95. All right. I will set boxes two, three, and four off to the side. Bring back box number one and bring you back in on our first find. All right, guys, I bring you back in here. So we are on what would be roll number 13 of box number one. Nothing on the board, but uh, I went ahead and flattened this roll out. And guys, we're going to have ourselves a very rare only issued in mint sets very low mintage coin are you ready for this it is in 1987 and this is considered an nifc because it was not issued for circulation it's 1987 philly and uh it's actually in pretty good shape and uh, if i go ahead and get the book out here go ahead and scoot that to the side 1987 only had 2.89 million minted. The exact mintage actually was for the 87D as well. So we, we have got ourselves a book finder here. Got ourselves a spot filler, if you will. And uh, that's going to be our first find. Not a found one, obviously, since I've got the uh, hole in the book that's not been filled yet. But that's a 1987 Philly. That is our first find of the hunt. Let's get back to it. All right, guys, well, on my end, it's been a while. It's uh, roll 41 is what we were on. So other than that uh, 87 Philly we found, I did find an NIFC at 2009 Denver. So that is an NIFC. And uh, finally, we're going to 41. I think we're going to have ourselves a silver. It's going to be right here on the end. Let's go ahead and see what it is. Definitely looks silvery. 1966. 40% silver, so we're on the board in box number one with a silver, an NIFC, and a, another NIFC, the 20, <laughs> the 1987 uh, Philly there. So let's go ahead and finish up these last nine rolls of box one and crack in the box number two. All right, bring it back in here. So box number two was a uh, complete skunk on silver and varieties. We end up just with uh, a few NIFCs, a 2006 a 2012 and a 2017 so let's go ahead and crack into box number three and i'll bring you back in on any finds we have in there well guys box number three complete skunk nothing new on the board since the last box that's what box four has what we've been looking for all right guys well that is it box number four has been hunted so all four boxes here are completely searched and uh, i'll put back the discards um Let's go ahead and go over our find. So we did have one silver coin out of 200 rolls. Now, it doesn't seem like that uh, is good odds, and you'd be correct there. It's not a good odds, but it's a silver nonetheless, and it's a silver added to the stack, so I will definitely be happy with that. The main joy that I've gotten so far from this hunt is this NIFC here, this 1987 Philadelphia. Now, this one I will go ahead and put into the book. I'll punch out that little section that said mitt set only. And uh, go ahead and put it in there, too. So we did end up with quite a few NIFCs, ranging from a 2004, 2006, 2009, a couple of 2012s, and a 2017. Now, some of these I may go ahead and put into my book for NIFCs, um, but I may wait and just kind of hold off heavily. I'll get some coins that don't have, you know, some damage spots and rings of death and all that nasty stuff, too. So, hey, folks, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, and if Thank you guys for watching and hit that like button. I'll catch you next time.